Hey, all Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. What we're going to do this afternoon is um, the other day I did some uh, low and slow on my grill dome. I got that pork butt and we did the really low and slow deal. We saw how it did. Now what I want to try is a hot bass cook. And what we've got here is uh, some pork loins, tenderloin here, and a um, flat iron steak. USDA sure is really nice. And what we'll do for flavor wise, I'm gonna use this Stubbs sweet black pepper marinade or dipping sauce right here. I'm gonna use that on the um, the flank or the flank steak on the, um, the uh, flat iron steak. So it's marinate any cut for an hour or longer for more flavors, based or dip. So this stuff, I mean, just it's supposed to be really really good. So. I'm sure it's a sweet, peppery taste to it, so we'll use that. And then for the pork, we're gonna use this test, this sriracha by Stubbs here. And this is another good thing. It's got, you know, cane, sugar, it's got you know, a bunch of peppers and stuff like that. So, well, let's get these in some bags. I'm gonna pour the marinade on them, and then we'll go from there. Let's try the, the pork first with this test this sriracha. And uh, let's pour some of that in on it. Hopefully we'll save a little bit for dipping and everything like that. So you'll yeah, save a little in the bottom for dipping and basting. That's going, oh, I can smell that sriracha too. It smells wonderful. So let's kind of just push the air out of there a little bit. And uh, we'll put that off in the fridge and let that just get, get nice there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a great marinade. That'd be good on chicken too, I bet. Man, it smells good. All right, set that over to the side. Like I said, we we'll saved a little bit there for We'll baste it. All right, then we're gonna take the uh, the beef here, the flat iron steak, and we'll put some of this uh, the sweet black pepper marinade on it. Man, stuff's always makes such good marinades. Let's see, Pour some of that again. We'll save a little bit for the basting. For sauce and later, and let's just uh, like I said, just get all that down in there. Everybody play nice with that. Get that a little bit more. Okay, so that's good. And uh, we'll just put these off in the refrigerator and get them on the grill here in a bit. Hey y'all, back. So these have been marinating in the stubs. You remember the sweet pepper uh, for a few hours on the flat iron. And then we've got the uh, pork tenderloins. I've had them marinating in the sweet sriracha. So as far as rub goes, you know, flat iron, I want to use this, uh, the gunpowder, Sure Shot Sid's gunpowder. I mean, that stuff you cannot really beat on beef. Uh, it'll be great for, you know, fast, hot cook. We'll put this gunpowder on both sides and just let it sit here and just, uh, I mean, just really, really get down into the meat. That's going to give it a wonderful char crust. Now for the pork, I'm going to try a new thing from Sure Shot Sid's. It's Chipotle pepper seasoning. And it's really good. It's got a good little spice to it and everything. And it got a lot of flavor, garlic and stuff like that as well. So we'll keep this with the sriracha and all this. We'll keep this kind of spicy on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll rub this down with the chipotle uh, pepper seasoning right here with sure shots. All right, y'all. We're gonna let them chill out for a while. Just in the refrigerator until we get them on the grill later. Go we on the outside now. Basically what I'm doing is lighting the grill down with the electric lighter there. And I'm let it go for about eight minutes uh, with the grill dome shut actually. And once the grill dome's lit, then we'll get on to the grilling. All right, so it's been about eight minutes here and we've got the grill lit. So now that it's lit, what I'm just gonna put this, uh, put my grate in here. Lay that on there. And uh, we will leave the vents open now till we get up to about 300, 400 degrees or so. So it's been about 20 minutes. I was out taking the baby on the golf cart ride. The grill dome's come up to temp. Um, you know, well, I say come, come temp. It's up to about 300 degrees. And I'm going to start shutting some vents down a little bit. I'm going to shut this one down here to about, uh, you know, let it go. Shut it to about four. You know, and then this here up top, let's see, we're on three, four. I'm gonna set it to about two and three quarters. You know, something like that. Yeah, two and three quarters, we're really good at three. Set that right on three on the top. So about four on the bottom, three on the top. Um, you know what, we'll do three on both. 
about like that. All right, so that way it'll keep an even portion of air coming in from the bottom, going out through the top. Now we'll get ready for the steaks. All right, y'all, the grilled on uh, holding the steady 300 degrees. Like I said, we got on about three and three here on the openings. I'm gonna go ahead and put this pork on because it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook than, than the beef. So I'm gonna zoom you in here. I tell you, the only thing I really about this that I wish was different. I wish there was some sort of shelving or something around here, you know, or have them side shelves because I'm having to kind of move a little table out here and stuff. But other than that, man, it's a great little setup. So here's what we'll do. We'll open it up here. Let's put some of the uh, pork on here. We'll have to kind of move from over here. Right there. And uh, right here, okay. All right, and then we'll let that go for just a little bit. Before we put the uh, the beef on, a couple, few minutes, maybe seven minutes or something. All right, so it's been seven minutes on those bad boys with the, the pork loin. What we're going to do now, I'm going to flip those. We're still riding about 350. Look at that. It's gorgeous right there. That pork loin, I mean, you can smell it too with that, that good rub on there and that Stubbs marinade and the sriracha. Let's go ahead and flip these. Oh, yeah, well, there we go. We're probably just going to do another seven minutes on that side. It's going to be real nice, y'all. All right, so the pork's been on there for about, you know, 15 minutes or so. 14 minutes, seven minutes aside. What I want to do now is I want to take it off. And it's been rolling about 350 to almost 400. And I'm going to crank this heat up because we're going to get ready for this flat iron steak. Well, also, I'm going to get a reverse sear going on this pork, too. So the pork should be just fine now. Set over here in this pan. We'll take this inside. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the heat up on this thing, open up the vents, and I'm going to get up to about 500 degrees for the steak, for the flat iron steak. That's what I want to see. So let's open it on up to about four. All right. So we got this bad boy up to about 500 degrees. What we're going to do is go ahead and put this uh, flat iron steak on and bring it all in here. Because I know it's going to climb up about 50 more degrees probably, you know. So we want Go ahead and put it on here. But, uh, oh man, yeah. Coals are just not real nice bit of coals in there. So I'm gonna set this joker right there in the middle. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do four minutes of side on this bad boy with the top closed, of course. But y'all it's been four minutes on this first side. Let's open it up and see what we got. Oh yeah. It smells nice. Go ahead and flip this bad boy over. But, uh, oh yeah, let you go about four minutes on the other side now. Also, it's been about four minutes on this other side now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna bring the beef inside. We'll bring the pork out here one more time. Now I want to get a good sear on the outside of it, kind of a reverse sear on that pork. So, like I said, here in about you know 15 seconds or so, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Let it bring it inside, let it rest for a little bit, and let's go ahead and, and bring the port back out here and put it back on the dome now that we're hitting this, you know, target 550 degree temperatures. All right, so that was my timer for the, for the beef. Let's go ahead and check this out with that. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and set that right there. Close this. We're going to go inside and we're going to grab the, uh, the pork again. Yeah. Back out here with the pork, and I'm just gonna let the pork go a minute or so on each side just to get this the sear that it needs. You know what I'm saying? It's so just reverse searing on this pork. We'll put one right there, the other right there, and we'll just let that go about a minute on each side. That'll be perfect. Decided to let it go ahead and go two minutes on each side. Y'all you know, think that'll get perfect? Like I said, you just want just a little bit of char there on the outside. You know, with a nice tender in the center of the pork tenderloin. It's going to be really, really good, y'all. So let's go ahead. I'm about to flip it. You see, go another two minutes on the other side, and we'll be done. We'll be ready to go. Okay. That's just what we want. See how we got that just a little bit of char right there? Let's go back. Oh. Let's go about a minute or so on that side. And, uh, oh yeah, that's what we need. I'm gonna do too, I got some of that Texas Sriracha right here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna baste these bad boys for a second while they're finishing off. And uh, get that shrotch glaze on there. That, that's flavor, 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 flavor for sure. And I tell you what, there's some heat coming up from this bad boy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Get that side there. Get that, that flavor on there. That tastes sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. We'll base the other side, y'all. And I think I'm gonna be ready to take those off. Yeah, there's my timer going right there. Then flip these bad boys here. Oh yeah. Man, the smell of this stuff is just amazing. And it's really rocking the house here. So, so we we'll just base these up. So I have the glaze on them. And over here on this other side. Base this one too. Alright. Now I think I'm gonna go get the pan and uh, we'll get these bad boys off. Let's see, just let that glaze set for a second. Now I may glaze that uh, the beef on here with it, with the uh, sugar pepper. Heck, we'll glaze the beef with that sweet black pepper, uh, the marinade slash dipping sauce and stub stuff. We'll put the beef back on there just for a minute. Like that. Get some of the sweet back black pepper marinade and all. Just go over with that. Just a little bit on that. With that. Man, that, that's hot. Hey, what? He was just chucking around trying to get on that bad boy. Alright, so that there's that there. Take that for just a minute. I'll get the other side, y'all. We'll be ready to roll. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. We're gonna go to the inside with it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get the nice glaze on there. Let's get in here with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Charles, let's go ahead and cut into some of this wonderfulness. Look at that there. I'm gonna get me a fork. No way! Something to hold it with. Now, let's go ahead and. Uh, Oh, look, look at this flat iron steak. I mean, it looks just gorgeous. You can't wait to cut into it. You know, all this stuff's going to be really, really good. But look at that. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Rare to mid rare. You can slice it really thin like that. That's what I'm talking about. That's gorgeous. And then we're going to cut into the pork here. Look at that pork. That's just beautiful right there. Slice this thin little piece here. And of course, now for the tasting. Oh yeah, main deal. Let's try the pork first. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That sriracha does a trick too. Try some of the beef. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That sure shot coming through and that sweet pepper from Stubbs. I'm going to try it. I'll put all the stuff in the description box so y'all can get everything. Thank y'all so much. Y'all please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless. I appreciate y'all. And y'all hold it down. Till next time, man. We, we got a feast upon these meats tonight.